Hey, how's it going, guys? Sean for Team Honey Roger here. I was bringing you guys an updated deck profile to my Black Hooker Stride deck. And the last time you'll see this deck, other than if it's featured in a match before GBT 06. So, um, this deck, I decided to change it up after the restriction list slowed down. I honestly think this deck got a little bit better, but Blouse still suck at the current meta. Um, they're still good, but they're not something I would take to a competitive event. But, I keep talking about how the game slowed down after the restriction of Odysseus and um, Sword Me. And I honestly still believe that with this deck, um, all decks, uh, I think all decks that require time were set improved a lot. <coughs> Sorry about that. So without further ado, let's actually get into the deck profile. So my starter, obviously Morgan Rot. Morgan Rot is the Blau starter. You don't want to play anything else other than Morgan Rot because he searches for all your blouse. Your perfect guards, your great D's, and all, oh, literally all of your great twos. Even though he is counter blast one and he's not a guaranteed search, I'd much rather have him and not need him than to need him and not have him. Unless, of course, you're playing Kagero or Narukage or something of that matter. So, yeah. Now let's get on to triggers. So, we're playing. For triggers, we're playing Four Shows Sweater and. Um, so that's already four crit and four red lightning. He's your uh, other crit and he goes to the soul to unflip a damage. This is why you don't see the four red lightning in my victor deck because they're in here and I'd much rather like it in here because as you know, blouse is what I consider my quote unquote main deck even though I think sanctuary guard is too. And four draws. I still really like draws in this deck. Uh, I try to... Um, wait for the new Nova draw. The new Nova draw looks really good, and I think I'm going to run that as the draw for all my Nova decks. And of course, four heals. If you're not playing he heals, go back to Vanguard School. Um, four is not needed in every deck. Some decks run three. I respect that decision, but I still think heals are very necessary. You can try running 12 crit, but like I said, since a lot of decks got better, one of those decks that got better is a lot of control decks that take time, Vermilion, the X, stuff like that. Things that are going to make you waste your resources early or kill off your resources quickly. So I just like the draws to compensate for that matter. So it's a little bit more in depth than you thought. <laughs> Anyways, so let me start with the grade ones. We are playing floor four, three, three, Clayton Mechanic. Um, of course, when he's called to the rear, unflip a damage, standard stuff for a noble grappler deck. This deck counter blasts a lot, so we'd much rather have the clay on mechanics to unflip those damage and get us more uh, cost stuff to be able to perform more skills. Next, we are playing three Beast Deity Frogmaster. He's the limit break enabler for Nova grapplers. There's like he just helps with Galaxy getting him off early. And he's very good in this deck's um, counter towards the grade two game, cause usually I don't I don't stay stuck much anymore, unless it's like this deck where like if it needs it against like Gear Chronicle or something like that. This card really this card is the key in that matchup, because it allows most of your skills to go off early. Next we are playing four of the Blau Perfect Guards. We play the Blau Perfect Guards because they can protect the rear guards, even though we have a counter to these um. Annoying rear guards, um, these just still help with the cause. And of course, they could be searched out through your Morgan route, so it's easy to get the perfect guards to your hand. And lastly, we're playing four stride neighbors, uh, just to keep constantly striding. I want to get these signed, of course, especially for this deck. Like I said, this is Blouse. Most of you know me for Blouse, and if you're new to the channel, uh, I, there was a time when I only did Blouse videos. And yeah. So that's why I run Stride Enablers. I want to consistently stride. Even though its main skill cannot be used, just uh, being able to stride is a big key. Because immediately in this meta, as soon as you read grade 3, you immediately want to stride and go into your explosion plays. And just running 4 ARC just helps me ensure I can do that. And plus he's a 7k, not a bad booster. Next we are playing 3 Jupiter Blau Cougar. Grade 2 game is still a thing. Even though it's slowed down, I'd still like to have an answer. And of course, because he's a Blau and could be used with Galaxy, we'll get into that later. So that's that. Uh, that's the reason why I won those. 
Obviously playing for Mars Black Cougar. Mars Black Cougar, of course, is he's sort of like a Sazanda type card for this deck. Because this deck is like this deck I consider like what some of Extreme Battler's mechanics came from. Extreme Battler is like a mix of all the Nova decks in one, but I think this card was the inspiration for Sazanda. Because if when it hits a Vanguard, you counter blast one, which blasts are known for being counter blast heavy, restand it and it gains five K. So, it allows you to get multiple attacks off um, one cost. And I'm only going to put that up there because the card that works in conjunction with him is Blau Cougar. So, Blau Cougar is the um, OG Blau. Uh, I don't want to use my double rares, so I'm afraid I'll damage them. Um, but, yeah. So, he's of course your main ride target. It's important you want to ride him because he enables so much for this deck on so many levels. Because when he hits a Vanguard, you unflip a damage. So, he, um, this with Morgan Rod just challenges your opponent. Do I want my opponent to get that free plus? And it hurts even more if you have the Mars and, um, Blau and Morgan Rod on the field at the same time, allowing you to get multiple effects off one counter blast. Which is very, um, good for this deck's early game. Because so definitely this deck's early game revolves around these, these two cards right here. If you're not already writing to grade 3, of course. Next for grade 3s, we are playing for the break ride. Break rides. Very viable this format because the game slowed down. So, Mom Balkuga, of course. When a Noah Grapple unit break rides on top of this unit, gains plus 10k power on the skill. That when it attacks, counter plus 1, stand all of your Nova rears. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, standard stuff. Next four of the boss card, Galaxy Blau. Uh, when counter blast two, when attack made by your Vanguard or Rearguard with Blau, same attack hits. Discard two cards, restand the Vanguard and the booster. And it's a limit break effect, but with the limit break enabler, it allows us to get most ball effect, get it off early. Attack with this doesn't hit. Attack with this doesn't hit. Attack with this, um, you get to do the skill. And if it hits, they just have to have Blau in their name. That's why most of the grade twos and threes in this deck are. So next we have two Meteor So next for the G-Zone, we have two Meteor Kaiser Tribute. Um, he's the only card that works with Mars. And since most of the time you're going to have Mars on the field, it really helps getting it, being able to kill those pesky things. Such as your Laurels, your Tom, stuff like that if they're guarding a lot. Next we have your two Vic 10s. This will usually be your first stride. Attack hit, stand something, give it 5k. And of course... Um, this is your standard stuff, and of course you have your four Victor Plasma. There's nothing else to run for Nova's. He's your restanding stride. Really helps out giving this deck that push. Um, I he really helps this deck because this deck doesn't have that push that it used to, because all these numbers are hitting for multiple drive checks and things. So your opponent has a much larger hand to guard your blouse. So Victor Plasma just helps close the game when Galaxy can't. So anyway, guys, that's my Blau deck profile. Kind of rambling at this point, but promise this deck profile. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.